All right, I think this one's kind of hard. Let's get into it. The Hubble Space Telescope is projected to maintain operation until at least 2030, but it has already revolutionized high-resolution imaging of solar system bodies in visible and ultraviolet UV light uh, wavelengths. Notwithstanding that only about 6% of the bodies imaged by the HST are within the solar system. Uh, so notwithstanding is a way, is kind of a fancy way of saying, but, or um, regardless of the fact. So it's kind of a little bit of a contrast there, but let's move on uh, for now. Uh, NASA researcher Cindy L. Young, still I'm going to underline it, sorry, it's, it's bothering me. NASA researcher Cindy L. Young and colleagues assert that a new space telescope dedicated exclusively to solar system observations would permit an extensive survey of minor solar system bodies and long-term UV observation to discern how solar system bodies change over time. That's a lot, but here's what I saw. Dedicated exclusively to solar system. That's that's what I need to know about the new telescope. Uh, the other stuff I'll come back to, but that first part seems important. Young and colleagues' recommendation, therefore, implies that the HST something something. Okay. So uh, maybe I would go back here and just kind of reread a little bit. So the uh, new, so let's do some dumb summary. New is a solar system only. And what do they say about the HST? Uh, it has already revolutionized high resolution imaging of solar system bodies and visible ultraviolet light waves, notwithstanding that only about 6% of the bodies imaged by the HST are within the solar system. So the HST is mostly not the solar system. So if we have a new telescope that does the solar system, then maybe HST doesn't need to do that anymore. I don't know. Let's take a look at the choices. So Young and Colley's recommendation therefore implies that the HST will likely continue to be used primarily, strong word, to observe objects outside the solar system. Well, it's kind of what it says, right? So that's this part right here. Now, primarily is one of those words that really scares me. It's one of my common trap answers. It's a quantifier word. It usually indicates that a choice is wrong. But more often, what we need to do is double check it and just see, is the passage supporting this word? It usually isn't. But in this case, if only 6% of the uh, telescope images are the solar system, I would say then primarily is justified. It's primarily doing stuff outside, right? That's 94% of what it does is outside the solar system. I think that's enough to justify the word primarily. But notice that that quantifier word that usually is wrong because we cannot quantify things or the passage doesn't quantify things, here they quantify things. We actually have numbers to back it up. So uh, it's an interesting a uh, counter example of what we usually get rid of. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it for now. Uh, B, uh, the HST will no longer be used to observe solar system objects if the telescope recommended by Young and colleagues is deployed. <sighs> that could be true, right? It says mostly not the solar system. So maybe, maybe we're getting out of the solar system business for the Hubble, right? I don't know. That seems like it could be true as well. Let's look at C. Uh, the HST can be modified to observe the features of solar system objects that are of interest to Young and colleagues. No, it doesn't normally look at the solar system. Why are we modifying it? We just got a new telescope that does look at the solar system. Don't care. Get rid of it. We're not, we're not modifying it. This is way too beyond what they're saying. Uh, D, lacks the sensors to observe the wavelengths of light needed to discern how solar system bodies change over time. I don't know anything about its sensors, how they change over time. Do we really talk about that? No. This, this seems wrong. I, I, it's just about things that I don't understand. I'm not going to try to force them back in, right? We're, we're talking about what this thing can observe. I don't know about the instruments on the, the telescope. So A and B, very similar, right? We got to pick one. They both seem to be saying that the Hubble will not be focused on the solar system. But there is a clear difference. Uh, choice A is softer, weaker, vaguer, right? It will likely continue to use primarily to observe objects outside the solar system, meaning there might be some times where we pointed at Jupiter, right? We've pointed at something in the solar system. It, it will, there's a likelihood, but it could be the other way. It will primarily look at things outside the solar system, but it could look at things inside, right? This is, this is open. This is a vague, weak answer. And we like those on the SAT. We don't like things that are definitive, that are certain, that's a sign it's usually wrong. And let's look, let's look at, at B. It, it goes into certainty, right? Will no longer be used to observe solar system objects if the telescope recommended by these people is deployed. Well, this is completely closing the door, right? This is 0% of the time it's going to be used to observe the solar system. Maybe 
it's not unreasonable, right? You got this brand new shiny telescope that's designed specifically to look at solar system stuff. Yeah, maybe you use that for, for those things and then you use the Hubble for stuff outside. That's, that's reasonable, but A is safer. So this is a great example of where you need to understand the, the rules of the game, right? You need to know how the SAT writes wrong answers. We need to know what they want from us, right? We don't want things that are super definitive. We like things that are open-ended, that leave in the possibility of um, you know us being wrong, basically. So uh, if you picked B because you're like, that's logical and the smarter move, you're not wrong in the sense of like, yeah, if you're running NASA, maybe that's a good call. But when you're taking an SAT, anything that completely shuts a door, completely closes something off, that's a bad sign. We don't really want to do that. We like wishy-washy answers that keep things open, that are flexible, that's generally better. So if that's the only reason you picked A, that's a good reason. That's a valid reason to pick one choice over another on an SAT.